Hello students, hi, hope all of you are fit and healthy. So you may be remembering what is an adverb clause, what is a noun clause, what is an adjective clause and basically what are subordinate clauses and principal and main clause and coordinate clauses by seeing my other videos. If you have not done, please see the other videos, subscribe to Unique Learning and press the bell icon to get the notifications timely. So let's understand today what is an adverb clause. So an adverb clause is a clause that functions like an adverb in a sentence. Now what is an adverb? You may be knowing what is an adverb. Adverb is actually a word that acts or adds on to a verb. Adverb means add on to a verb. It actually describes a verb. So, same way an adverb clause in a sentence, it will describe a verb which is present in the main clause or the other clause which is present there. So, that is an adverb clause. Let's understand with the help of example. Now, I have taken two similar uh, examples so as to tell you difference between an adverb phrase and an adverb clause. So that you can understand and clearly identify between these two. So let's see. I am glad of her recovery from her illness. And other sentences, I am glad that she has recovered from her illness. Out of these students, can you identify which is the adverb phrase and which is the adverb clause? Yes, think. Yes, I think you are right. So... And you can understand it more easily if you have seen the difference between clause, phrase and sentence. That video of ma'am. So you see, in this sentence of a recovery from an illness. In this recovery is the verb. Both the sentences are explaining about glad. In the next sentence you have the verb as recovered. So in the first sentence as there is no finite verb. While second sentence has got a finite verb. So second one will be the clause. While the first one is a phrase. The phrase does not have its own meaning and cannot stand on its own. That also is there. While the clause you can see she has recovered from her illness. That has got a meaning of its own. But if you add on with that, then it is actually depending on the main clause. That is, I am glad. So, it's a adverb clause. It's a type of subordinate clause. And the type of subordinate clause is adverb clause as it is describing about or adding on to the meaning of glad, which is the verb here. So I hope you have understood this difference between adverb clause and adverb phrase. Now let's go to this. An adverb clause tells something about an action. Actually in a sentence, verb is something which tells you action. So adverb clause is something or a part of the sentence that tells you about the action. And the action is generally done in the main clause. Adverb clause can also tell you about an adjective. It can also act as an adjective. Then it can also explain another adverb in the sentence. Now come to main functions. Do you know what is the main function of an adverb clause? An adverb clause has several functions in the sentence. It can either act as time. It can tell you about time. It can tell you about place. It can tell you about purpose, reason, concession. Manner, contrast, condition, result or comparison. So many things are told by an adverb clause. So it can tell you at what time the action took place, which place it took place or what was the purpose of doing the action, what is the reason behind the action, then concession. What concession is given, that's why the action was done. Manner in which action was done, contrast with another action. Then condition, 
Con under which conditions the action took place, result of the action, then comparison of that action with another action. So, all these are the functions of an adverb clause. Now, I will explain in my next video with examples and with the identifiers about these various functions of adverb clause. So, stay tuned to Unique Learning and press the bell icon to get notifications timely for all the videos which ma'am is providing to you. So, happy learning.